A member of President Trump's legal team, author of Conviction Machine, uh, her name is Sidney Powell, a very respected prosecutor uh, uh, from, I believe, the 5th District. Um, I j- want to welcome her to the show. And, Sydney, I just uh, want to r- remind you, if nobody has, that we're on a delay because of uh, my remote location. So we, uh, I'll try not to talk over you. I don't mean any disrespect if it, if it happens. But we're on such a massive delay that it's, it's difficult. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, my pleasure, and I understand the delay issue, no problem. Okay. So <clears throat> you went through absolute hell with General Flynn for three years, and uh, you were facing the same kind of criticism that you are now. And in the end, we find out that what you were defending and who you were defending was absolutely true. Trump <clears throat> has kept his promises to be the to be the guy who is the warrior for the American people, he's been almost entirely alone in that effort. And to in my point of view, he has earned the trust, at least from me, and I think trust from all of his voters, to allow you to play this game the way you see fit to to, to uh, you know talk to the press or not talk to the press. Your job is to win a court case. Can you tell us when this is going to be filed and where it's going to be tried? Uh, No, I can't right now. We're going to have to file several lawsuits. It's going to be in all the swing states. Um, We are still gathering massive amounts of evidence uh, to the point we haven't even had time to process all of it. People are filing or drafting affidavits for us right and left. Um, patriotic Americans are coming forward from every corner of the country and some people even internationally. They are fed up with the corruption and they want to clean up the system and stop this election rigging that has gone on all around the world for the profit of all kinds of tyrants and global interests that have just lined their pockets while they've raped their own countries and treated their people horribly. We know it's happened in many countries in Latin America. It was exported to Argentina. I think it was exported to Mongolia. Probably most every country around the world now has been infected with this sort of election rigging that's been made available by Dominion and Smartmatic. And and other companies as well have used the same sort of code in their machines that would allow the same results to be controlled. Okay, so let's talk about Smartmatic and and Dominion. You laid out the connections uh, or affiliations with Venezuela. The press is saying that didn't happen. You talked about Germans counting our votes. The press has said that didn't happen. Can you give us any place to even look for the truth? What, what, you, you say one thing, everybody online, and believe me, we were just demonetized by Facebook because we carried your press conference without comment. We carried it, and we were demonetized for it. So I, I can't go to any source to get the truth online. How can we find these things? Well, we will start putting documents uh, online and sending them to people like you as soon as we possibly can. I would hope that we could start that by this weekend. Uh, I mean, we've just been taking in information, not just through a fire hose. I mean, it started through a fire hose and then it became a tsunami. And some people, of course, don't want their names disclosed. They have uh, all kinds Mm -hmm. of fears. Uh, We have people around the country with security now that they've never had before just because they dared to tell the truth. Uh, You might look at the fact that both uh, Dominion offices have shut down and moved all of a sudden in Toronto, where they shared office space with a Soros entity. And also in Denver, all of a sudden, they just shuttered and, and moved. Their employees have been taking their name off LinkedIn and eliminating any affiliation with either company. There are over 100 of those that have happened. 
uh, it's uh, I mean we've we've unearthed a, a global criminal conspiracy that is just mind blowing, and we've only scratched a, a tip of the iceberg. The servers at Seidel in Germany were confiscated the other day. I am hearing it was our forces that got those servers. So I think the government is now working on an investigation of what really happened. But we're getting in evidence also that there were lines into the servers from four foreign countries, all extremely adverse to the interests of the United States. But wouldn't they have counted those here first and then just uploaded them to the cloud you know, on those there servers, multiple, maybe perhaps in Germany? Right. There were multiple ways of, of doing the alterations of the votes. The person sitting at the data center where their votes are coming in can do it. They can watch them real time and change things. They can put an algorithm on the system across the board that does the initial shifting. And then in each data collection point, which is best we can tell for the major alterations were the democratic controlled, politically corrupt strongholds in the country, cities like Detroit and Philadelphia, for example, and Atlanta, uh, by the spikes in the data, the statistical experts can and mathematical experts can tell you wh exactly when the anomalies occurred that are statistically impossible. And we found places where, for example, something like 384,450 votes were added for Biden, while a third of that amount were added for Trump. And those exact same numbers were replicated 20 minutes later. So <clears throat> I talked to a, I talked to a Silicon Valley expert on Monday, another uh, time we were demonetized uh, this week. And I asked him, I said, can you tell me the odds of, of these kinds of things happening? He said, Glenn, uh, when I reported back to me, he said, I didn't have to go further than the user manual for Dominion. He said on page exactly. 456, 57, and 8, he said all of these things are not design flaws. They're designed. And it says in the manual that the risk is very high. So yeah. <laughs> are, we gra yeah. are we grabbing the software from uh, these precincts? Is there any record that we should be seizing? Uh, yes. Uh, the government, frankly, should be seizing every single machine. There should have been search warrants run already on Dominion offices and operation centers. Why none of that has been done is beyond my comprehension, other than the CIA or some other three-letter agency has known for a long time that this was going on and, and behind a lot of it, if not facilitating and operating a lot of it. I don't know. But I do know this. It has defied the will of the American people and people around the world who have thought they were legitimately voting and their vote was being counted for the candidate of their choice when it turns out it wasn't their choice at all. And I can't even express how angry this makes me uh, from whatever the involvement of our government is to its failure to do anything now to its promotion of it around the world or turning a blind eye, whatever it is. It's absolutely hideous and appalling and un-American and contrary to everything our founders set this country up to be. Well, we know that Soros is involved in, in some countries with these people, um, and quite honestly, the State Department yeah. doing these things. Um, so let me, uh, let me ask you, we've reached out to the Department of Homeland Security. We've reached out to states. We do not get a response from anybody. We've asked these questions. Uh, have you has your legal team investigated or has have you asked for uh, subpoenas uh, in court to be able to seize these things? So far, what the campaign has been filing have been largely election challenges. And they don't, as far as I know, I'm not an election law lawyer for starters, but my understanding is there have not been any 
process yet pursuant to which they could issue subpoenas. There are different entities that have secured the machines to protect them at our request. I mean, we're just we're just civil lawyers trying to do the right thing here when the government has ignored it or helped it along for at least two decades. I mean, we know we have a firsthand, totally credible witness who has given us a lengthy affidavit. He was sitting at Hugo Chavez's right hand for from the inception of this machine and equipment and operation through its execution for years. He's been in the control room where he saw it happen. Their own book, their own manual, as you say, lists all these things as features. You can, you can take mm-hmm. votes and put them in a file right. called an adjudicative file and then just throw it away. So you can call out yeah. all the Trump votes you want, put them in that file and put it in the trash bin. It is remarkable what they have designed. It's so crooked. Um, let me go back to what something Mayor Giuliani said. He said, um, we have proof of more than double the amount of votes to overturn the election. D- do you know, is this from affidavits or uh, is there evidence that the team has dug up that confirms what the witnesses have said? It's a combination of things. It's the data that we've been able to get from certain precincts. That's another thing. We need the we need the granular data in lots of places, and it takes, frankly, a bit of time and effort to go through the data and do the analysis. It's not something that can be done in five minutes. We've talked to probably over 500 or maybe even 1,000 witnesses by now. I don't even know what our affidavit count is. Uh, Rudy has one set and I have another and then we share them with each other. So we haven't even had time to read all the affidavits that our lawyers have collected. So and that's another working, concern we're all that I have. 20 hours a day. I know. I know. Um and I know the I know the cancel culture and I know the fear that is involved with many attorneys and I quite frankly think there is a lot of conservative big name conservative attorneys out there that are just spineless for not stepping to the plate right now um but <clears throat> I understand what you're going through which brings me to a a fear that I have that you, I mean you're building the most important case if if half or 25% of what you guys said yesterday turns out to be true this is the biggest crime in american history and you don't put that together in two weeks do you have time to make this world (laughs) yeah in history um do you have time to do this I, I think we can get it done. In fact, we, we already have collected more evidence than probably half the prison population is in prison for right now. It's just a matter of, of tying it together in a way that's digestible. And we're in the process of doing that as we speak. And I, I'm hoping we get something filed by next week that starts outlining and, and proving the overall fraud. But I will tell you, too, that the standard of proof people are expecting is more than would be necessary for a criminal conviction, which is absolutely ridiculous. Our standard of proof is only preponderance of the evidence. And, and on top of that, the, the mountain of evidence we have to deal with is, is huge. And we've got, of course, all the Let media me, interests against us, all the global interests against us, all the social media companies against us, because they're all owned and controlled by foreign money. There are trillions of dollars of wealth and corruption at issue against our little team in, in this effort. Every despot, every tyrant around the world who has been elected by this system I'm sure it's putting all his or her resources and connections and everything else against us. We're, we've had technology issues. We, we know that our people are blowing up my phone all the time. Everybody out there on the wrong side of truth and justice is attacking us in one form or another. But we're going to keep going, and we're, we are going to prove it. 
Uh, Sydney, I, I, um, I, I know a fraction of what the uh, powers that be can do to destroy people. And uh, I, we pray for you and we pray for the team. Uh, I know millions of Americans are for your, just for your protection and for guidance.